Hi there. The following video will it show us how to do question 2, part I, of the OCR Core 3 Maths January 2010 past paper. OK, let's have a go at doing this question. The angle theta is between 0 and 90. That's what we're told at the start. So theta is an acute angle. OK, next, it says, given that theta satisfies the equation 6 sine 2 theta equals 5 cos theta, find the exact value of sine theta. Now, a couple of things here. It says find the exact value. So when we're working this out, I don't want you to round in, use a calculator and round to three significant figures as you'd usually do. If you're thinking there's a third answer or something like that going on here or some sort of fraction, so we want an exact answer. Also, we've not been asked to solve for theta. We've just been asked to find sine theta. OK, let's write down um, the fact we know. We know that 6 sine 2 theta is equal to 5 cos theta. OK, having a look at this. There's a sine 2 theta here and a cos of just theta here. Very difficult to solve this uh, type of equation until everything is in terms of uh, theta, like sine thetas and cos thetas. We don't want sine 2 theta here. OK, can we replace sine 2 theta by any identity we know? Well, yes, we can. Now, I want to show you where this sine 2 theta identity comes from. In the exam and in the formula booklet, you will be told and you will be given this formula that sine A plus B is equal to sine A cos B plus sine b cos a. You will be given that formula, so there's no need to remember it. Now, if I said to you what sine 2 theta or sine theta plus theta, you simply substitute theta in for a and b here, and you get sine theta cos theta plus sine theta cos theta, which is simply 2 sine theta cos theta. OK, so sine 2 theta is 2 multiplied by sine theta multiplied by cos theta. Let's use this identity, which is easy to generate from what's given to you in the formula booklet, so there's no need to remember these, although it would be good if you could, you can generate them quickly. Sine 2 theta, let's replace it by 2 sine theta cos theta. So let's rewrite this equation here. That's 6. Instead of sine th 2 theta, I'm going to write 2 sine theta cos theta, and all of that is equal to 5 cos theta. OK, this means 6 multiplied by this. Let's just times the numbers together. So we get 12 sine theta cos theta equals 5 cos theta. Now at this point, uh, I would like you to get into good habits when doing this type of question, although here it wouldn't affect us too much. I don't like it when students at this point say there's a cos theta here and a cos theta here, so cancel cancel them. I don't like that at all. I don't want you to do that at all. Ignore that. What I would like you to do is make one side of the equation equal to zero and factorise. Instead of that, I would like you to do this. Subtract 5 cos theta from both sides. And you would end up with this. 12 sine theta cos theta minus 5 cos theta equals 0. Make one of the sides equal to 0. Now factorise. What goes into 12 sine theta cos theta and 5 cos theta? Well, cos theta does. Factorise that out and you get 12 sine theta minus 5. All of that is equal to 0. So on the one hand, cos theta would be 0. And on the other hand, 12 sine theta minus 5 equals 0. Rearrange this equation sine theta is equal to 5 over 12. Looking back at your original question, you have found sine theta exactly. It is equal to 5 over 12. Out of interest, this other, other solution here, is there a solution between 0 and 90 for cos theta to be 0? Well, actually, there isn't. So in this case, this would be ignored, but that wasn't part of this particular question. You have found sine theta is equal to 5 over 2. Thank you.